Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? It's the middle of the year. This is a good time for us to all look back at our New Year's resolutions that we made at the beginning of 2022 to see how we're doing. So in this video, I'm gonna look back to my previous video I made at the beginning of the year and then share with you my progress with each of the goals and what I need to do to move forward to finish these goals or make progress on them till the end of this year. What goals have you been able to accomplish this year and what are you still hoping to finish for the second half of the year? I'd love to hear in the comments below. My name is Angela and I'm a visually impaired designer. This year, 2022, the word that I picked was balance. All right, so my word was balance for this year. And so far, I think it's going all right. I pay attention to this a lot, definitely. I'm trying to make sure to find balance. I think I was on one side of the scale where I was tipping heavily, where I was doing some things way too much and other things were being neglected because of it. And now I've kind of swapped it to where I was like, okay, hey, I need to do these things more. And now I'm a little bit lacking in some of the other goals I have. So I'm still trying to find that balance, but at least I'm more aware of what I'm wanting to accomplish. One of the things that has actually really progressed overall is my health this year. I have been getting exercise induced migraines for the majority of my life. It's been a constant thing of mine. I always get migraines and I've noticed that anytime I would exercise, I would get a migraine. I also have anxiety and so that was affecting my life very strongly. And so when I got a new job and I had better health insurance through my job, one of my main goals was to get my anxiety under control and another goal was to make it so I could find a way to exercise without getting a migraine every single time I exercise. That is not fun. And so I'm happy to say that like for the last three and a half-ish months, I've been able to exercise three times a week without getting migraines every single time. I will get light headaches. Sometimes I will get a migraine. It's so nice to be able to exercise Whereas before I hated it, I dreaded it. People would tell me that exercising felt so good to them and I just really didn't understand because I was like, I feel so crappy after I exercise. This is not worth it. Why would I torture myself doing this? A couple weeks ago, I ran my first 5K in a really long time. I used to run 5Ks at least once a year when I was in my first years of college and I absolutely loved it. I really enjoy running and so I wanted to get back into running. So me and my best friend have been running some races. So we ran a 5K and then just last week we ran our first 10K. This is a huge accomplishment for me. I've always wanted to be able to run a 10K and I finally did it. And we're running a second 10K here on the 4th of July, which is a race that I've always, always, always wanted to run. I've ran the 5K for that same race multiple times, but I've always wanted to run the 10K. And that's six miles and it blows my mind that I ran a six mile run a little bit ago and that I'm gonna do one here soon. I'm also really focused on finding ways to decrease how much I'm spending and really just bucking down on like eating out and things that aren't necessary and so that I can use that money towards my student loans and pay off that much more money this year. Okay, so yeah, I need to work a lot better on my eating. So I've been eating out way too much. I have been eating healthier even when I've been trying to eat out or when I eat at home, which is a good thing, but I still need to work on this one a lot and so I'll be working on it throughout the rest of the year. Work on and to hopefully earn my CPACC, which is a certification through the IAPP, which is an International Accessibility Program. All right, so I haven't really made a lot of progress with my CPACC certification. I feel so bad saying that. I shouldn't feel bad. I just have been prioritizing other things which I want to prioritize that. So I'm gonna find a way to make this work and work in my schedule. So I really wanna study and get the certification. Once it's done, it's done, and I don't have to worry about the certification. So I just need to set aside the time to do it and accomplish it, and then I can meet other goals. So my plan is for the next, however long I need to, 
see how many days I can try to study for 30 minutes a day. And I'm gonna do this right after I'm done working. While I'm still sitting at my desk, and in that mode of studying and working. And then that way I'll transition well into studying for that exam. My next big goal for 2022 is to grow my YouTube channel, my website and all my social media. My goal with building YouTube and my website and my Instagram and everything hasn't honestly been going as well as hope this year. I haven't been posting as many videos as I would like. This is part of the balance that kind of got dropped a little bit because I was work, work, working all the time and I wasn't giving myself time to relax or to play with others. And you know what? I really needed to be able to do that. So I'm working on finding a balance. I'm ready to jump back in and make the second half of the year more of a work on my personal brand and my YouTube videos and everything. I really want to focus on improving my portfolio, adding to my portfolio, making it obvious that I'm focused on accessibility, redesign some projects and make them accessible. I still have some projects I want to redesign for my portfolio and update some designs that I've created that aren't accessible from before I was really aware of what that meant. And so hopefully I can make that also work as part of my goal for the rest of the year. A goal of mine is to participate in workshops and help teach about accessibility to other designers and other people. One of my long-term goals would be to run workshops and to teach about accessibility. I've heard a couple of talks and went to a conference for accessibility. And so that was nice, but I haven't really done any workshops or anything like that for accessibility. So I'm hoping that I can find some opportunities for that the second half of the year. I also just as a last goal of mine, I want to take some time each day or weekly to really focus on some skills that I want to build. I want to continue to learn more Spanish. I want to practice more on keeping my braille up. Now that I got a Perkins brailler this year, I can continue to practice with my braille and making sure that I can get that skill up to where it should be. Okay, so the last two goals I mentioned, the Spanish. So I haven't been doing any like formal sit down learning of Spanish. This has actually been a really good time for me to learn Spanish because I'm around a couple of people who speak Spanish with their children. And so I've been able to speak with their children as well. And I've found this to be more effective in helping me learn how to speak than sitting down and doing something like Duolingo or whatever, because I'm at the level where I need to be speaking and hearing other people speak it and be able to respond quickly and precisely in real time instead of just doing it on my computer. And then the last goal I mentioned, Braille. I have not had time or made time, I should say, to practice and learn braille. So I really want to try to make that a priority and at least spend some time here and there where I can practice braille and use my brailler and type out some stuff in braille just so I can keep that skill going because you need to use it in order to keep it, right? So yeah, that's one thing I really wanna work on. All right, well, that's it for my recap. It was very nice and refreshing to look back at my goals because I don't want to just set goals and then not really work on them. So being able to look partway through the year at what my goals were and say, this is my progress on all of these. These are things I haven't started and I've already completed these goals has been nice. So now I know what I need to focus on for the next six months of this year. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. Those are both free things you can do to support my channel and to support me. Let me know in the comments below anything you wanna hear about or learn from me in the future. And that way I can make a video about it and let y'all know. I hope that you all have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.